Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm here in our beautiful service centre in Hereford today to talk to you about five free or cheap ways you can use to reduce the weight of your pack. Now this is the first episode in a little bit of a mini series we're going to do. The next episode following on from this will be five ways that you can reduce the, your, the weight of your pack if you spend a bit of money. So while I got you here, great little tip is to just hit that little bell icon you'll get a notification next time we post a video now ordinarily we would be filming this video in some beautiful locations in the mountains somewhere but in true great british weather it is uh, absolutely hammering it down outside <laughs> so instead we've offered for a roof and a bit of comfort <laughs> so without any more waffling let's get to it Now, firstly, and arguably the most obvious point, what are you actually taking? Is it essential? Do you need it? Can you sacrifice a bit of comfort to live without something for a couple of days? Do you really, 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 really need to be taking your hot water bottle? Really? <laughs> when I was hiking the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path a couple of years ago, I um, thought that I'd been really stringent, really strict on the kit that I took. And actually it turned out that after a few days of achy muscles, I'd been a bit, bit more lenient than I thought I wanted to be. So in some dramatic fashion, I walked into the post office in Pembrokeshire, poured open my bag on the floor, like <laughs> some dramatic movie. Uh, and I shoved half of it in a box uh, and posted it home. So I sent home, there were bits of clothes that I hadn't used after three days. There was an extra pot that I'd taken that I thought I needed a pot and a pan and another pot, uh, didn't. <laughs> you know, there was just loads of stuff that I'd taken with me that um, I thought were really important and after three days I figured out that they weren't. So if you are gonna be doing longer treks, then I really do recommend practicing um, overnight with the kit that you'll be taking. Uh, and you'll very, very quickly, after a bit of achy muscles, you will be a lot more strict on the kit that you're willing to take out with you. Are you more popular than me? Do you have friends? <laughs> then I really recommend sharing the weight with a mate. So for example, your tent. You don't need to take two tents. You can split the weight of your tent between your poles and your fly sheet and just take one. Um, you can also look at your kit overall. For example, do you need to be taking two stoves? Do you need to be taking two wash kits? Do you need to be taking two big first aid kits? It is really about looking at your overall kit and figuring out where you can share the load. I don't recommend sharing underwear. That one, you can have that one. <laughs> Camping pillows are great. They're lightweight, they can pack down pretty small, they're comfortable, but they're a luxury item. They can very easily be swapped for <laughs> a dry bag stuffed with some clothes in it. So I like to put in my insulating jacket in the evening. And that <laughs> that's my little pillow so it's um, something you're gonna be taking anyway just has two uses perfect look guys if it's just me or uh, some poor friend of mine I don't take my full wash kit out with me when I go camping. I probably don't take a wash kit at all, especially if it's only for one night. If I'm going out for a few nights on the trot, then what I do is I decant my shampoo and my soap into these little bottles. They take up much less space and they weigh much less than taking a full bottle out with you. Taking a full bottle is just not necessary. Um, but otherwise, either way, I will leave my deodorant at home and I haven't had any complaints yet. Right guys? Right, Harry, back, back me up.
And lastly, admittedly this one's not free, but if you're going to be buying food to go out with anyway, then you might as well buy dehydrated food. It is much, much lighter than wet food. In fact, this one is 144 grams and the wet food equivalent from Blaband is 430 grams. So almost a third of what the wet food weighs. They are very light, very easy to carry. They last almost forever. So if you don't use it on that trip, then just pop it in your kit room and take it out on the next time. And they're very, very easy to uh, use. So you just boil up some water, pop it in the packet, give it a good stir and let it sit for a few minutes. And actually, they don't taste bad. <laughs> they actually taste pretty great. There's quite a few in the range that I really enjoy eating. Uh, it's just all about finding the one that you like best. Blaband is a firm favorite in the Trekit shop, but Trek and Eat also do some very, very good flavors. And that's it. That's it for this week's installment of How Do I Make My Pack Lighter? So stay tuned for the episode we'll be fil filming in a couple of weeks time. Uh, better yet, again, hit that bell icon. You'll get a little notification when we do post it. Um, if you have any other tips or things that you think we've missed, then pop them in the comment section below to help out everyone else. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And while I've got you here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe it does help us out. We will pop all of the um, products that we've shown in this video in the blurby bioe wit bit underneath the video. So do go check that out as well if there's anything that you've seen that's really caught your eye. Other than that, that's it from me guys. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye. Let me check in the sound. Making sure the microphone is working. To talk to you about five free or cheap ways that what are you looking at?